Hightech Bank of City and the hometown team. Joining me today to come the game is always Mr. Hatawas. It's good to have you here. Good to, <laughs> good yep. to be working with you too. And uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. And we'll be joined in a moment by Mr. Anotika Alu working the sideline. Now, before we talk about the game, let's talk about the injury updates mm -hmm. from new teams and uh, the roster situation, especially for the Indonesia Warriors. All right. It's the good news is it looks like John Smith Jr. is going to play today. It's already, yeah. He's warming you can, up, you can shooting see some him balls. Warming up, yes. Uh -huh. And also, the Warriors have replaced the surface of Chris Ellis with either Justin Howard or Mims O'Neill on the last few games. Mm -hmm. And I just received confirmation that uh, Christian Ellis and Justin Howard are released by the Warriors. Not because of injury, but because the management feels that they are not the right fit for the team. They are not suitable yeah, for the system. It's fouled by Archivisnu. It's it's Wuti Pong Dasom that plays the uh, point. That's point guard. So it's Jerry Canada, Wuti Pong Dasom, Chris Charles. Thomas are on the floor. Mm -hmm. As Chris Charles opens the game with the first bucket, two points for Chris Charles. Tanola working against Chris Charles. We stole the corner. He shoots and he misses. Chris Charles with the rebound. And he's trying to attack the basket again. You see. He scored two points over the defense of O'Neill Mims. So it's going to be interesting thing to see that both of them will be fighting under the basket. Mims just made the uh, two points. And Jerry Canada with the 
the ball. Twist on the run to Lakudu. An alley -oop. It's supposed to be an alley -oop. So I noticed that <laughs> Bangkok City is very calm. They, they're right? very calm. You can see it. Yeah, I mean, that's why they're leading the, the league. Uh -huh. So uh, they play with the time. They play calm. They still like, mm -hmm. they know what to do. They know who they're supposed to get the ball to. That's right. They have been playing together for a longer time compared to the uh, imports of Indonesia. As Kutipuk Dasong makes the lucky shot, 6-3, Bangkok City are in the lead with three points with just seven minutes and 41 seconds remaining on the first. And here comes Johnson. Remain Johnson. Johnson on the wing, pull up jumper, air ball. Short. You see, so it's already, it's already combination of Jerry Canada and Chris Charles. Chris Charles this already. is one of the reasons why they are leading the league. They are undefeated for seven straight matches before they were being ended by the Singapore Slinger. Johnson outside and he was fouled by Stephen Thomas. Let's talk about the Bank of City, <laughs> where they were undefeated on the first seven games. That's so right. They were undefeated for 56 days, from almost 16th two months, of July yeah. mm -hmm. until the 30th of August. Like uh -huh. you said, it's almost a span of two months. What can you say about those unbelievable streaks? Well, uh, they, have, they, have, they are just very strong, and uh, they have been... Uh, I compare this with the uh, situation of Indonesia, mm -hmm. Warriors. They have been playing together uh, longer, mm -hmm. but during that two months uh, span, two months span, we can see that a lot of the teams are still on the trial, something like on the trial, trial, uh, you know, to play together, while they have established as a team. Stephen Thomas, who don't want to go out yeah. and guard Stephen Nolan on time. Ball pressure by Lakudu. Penyadas to Thomas, off the road. You see, you see, that's one of the reasons why they are invincible for almost two months. It's the combination of Jerry Canada and Chris Charles, and Jerry Canada and Steve Thomas. Stephen Thomas looks confident in stopping Lin Sonil. Uh, yeah, that's why, as you see, as you mentioned that uh, the high-tech Bangkoks are playing very, you know, very calm, very steadily, while the Indonesia warrior is trying to find their rhythm. Was it? And it's a three-point play, right? Jerry Canada, who plays a lot of pick and roll with Stephen Thomas. That's why. Right. Right. Very strong, you know. They play it very, very strongly and very cleverly. As both coaches uh, call a timeout and they will talk to Messi. And if you talk about the Bank of City, they won against Drea, mm -hmm. Heat and the Warriors twice, mm -hmm. and once again Dragons and Slingers. So they lost their only game this season against Singapore in overtime recently, and they won their last game against Drea. Yeah. What are your impressions about Bangkok City so far? Well, they are very strong, but they are not invincible. Uh -huh. I mean, ac actually, yep. looking at the way the Singapore, uh, the Singapore uh, Slingers defeated them in Singapore, mm -hmm. 
uh, without Carl Jeffers, that means any team actually, I mean, not any team, uh, Indonesia Warrior can beat them too. Yeah. Because Indonesia Warrior can beat Singapore Slinger twice, right? Yeah. And uh, as you can see also, this is interesting, as I see it in the, uh, in the Jerry Kanyada uh, uh, stats, that when he played against uh, Drea in Bangkok on 14th of August, he was stopped, totally stopped. Mm -hmm. He didn't score anything. So, if this kind of uh, things can happen here, I mean, if any of the Warriors player can stop her, mm -hmm. can stop him, anything can happen. But looking at the first uh, Five minutes. four minutes, I don't know, he has made, you know, the impact of his being on the floor is, you can feel it, you know. Yep. And that pass will fall on Haryanus Lakudu mm -hmm. as the point guard for the Warriors. Dari Canada, Kedewing Lakudu, Wisnu, over a much smaller Morgan, Wisnu. And he was fouled by... He was fouled before the stop being blocked by Chris Charles. And don't forget, Jerry Canada used to play That's for the right. Indonesia Warriors. That's right. It's a little bit. I have, it's a little bit sad to see him playing without Indonesia Warriors uh, yep. uniform. And also <laughs> Stephen Thomas. That's right. Yeah, the combination. So it's like you know moving both of them and their legs to the opponents. And they can be inside of what our weaknesses are. <laughs> but as well as the Warriors, they also have insight on those two players. Wisdom is one of two free throws. 5 12. Seven points deficit by the Warriors. With five minutes and 15 seconds remaining on the first. Here comes Canada. Driving traffic. Stephen Thomas drives down to the basket. And he misses that one, but kept it alive. Canada. Settling things one more time. Charles on the post as uh, Vinton Nolan will pick up his first. Do you see a kind of attitude that the Warriors need to win this game? They seem like a little bit like having a very slow start. It's like, yeah, it's very slow and let's see, you know, because because uh, I think Coach Sweevin is watching what is happening on the court. Uh -huh. The one right, Remain Johnson. Remain Johnson, very fast. To pass to wide open Vinton Nolan. Wisnu to Johnson. Push! Three points by Remain Johnson, who got his fourth point of the game. Nice assist by Arke Wisnu. As the Warriors start communicating on the defensive end of the floor. Mims O'Neill got the steal. Waiting for teammates to come. Almost got stolen by Montien. Wisnu to Lakudu. <laughs> Lakudu wants O'Neill on the elbow. Here comes O'Neill. Whoa! O'Neill means. A nice Scoring run. Over. Yes, of course. Nice run. 5 0 oh, run by the Warriors. Oh, run and, and already they cut. Uh, they, uh, the uh, coach of the high tech asked for the time out. So the Warriors will miss Kirsten Ellis' rebound, three points, and shot blocking ability, right? Because Ellis was fifth in the rebounding department with 11.6 rebounds per game, third in blocks per game, uh, that is 2.6. And as a big man, Ellis can step out to the three point line, dragging the opening center to guard it outside and lift the defensive rebound for Nelbel. What do you think of Kirsten Ellis and Justin Howard as Warriors will miss them both? Well, uh, to tell you the truth, they played only, uh, I've, I've watched them only twice, three yep. times. I think uh, the fact that they take uh, O'Neill memes and now they decided they, they release them, yep. they already convinced that memes will be part of the team okay. for the rest of the, uh, for the, rest of the uh, uh, season. Yep. So, and uh, I hope that it's going to be uh, steady, they will be playing better. Mm -hmm. And uh, at least from me as a fan, the first time he played for Indonesia Warriors, they won. So it's a good sign. Ellis played in the NBA Summer League with Denver Nuggets in 2006 and Portland Trail Blazers in 2007 and 2008. Back to the game. 
Just two points lead for the Bangkok City as the Warriors come up strong with a 5-0 run. <laughs> Actually, it was started with a good pick and roll. Mm -hmm. Wisnu, sensation offense. Here comes the man with a pull-up jumper. Another air ball for the Warriors. Wutipong Dasom, driving hard to the rim. To Montien on the corner. Chris Charles is played against Roman Johnson. What if wow. No challenge there by Arky Wisdom. Chris Charles. He cannot drive to the basket. He see his friend is free under the basket. Uh-huh. Wutipong Dasom with four points. And Vintanola. He was oh, left yeah. wide open by either Chris Charles mm -hmm. or Stephen Thomas, That's right. and he now knocks this three-point. Chris Charles, Chris Charles against Vinton Nolan. Nolan trying so hard to cap him off the lane. hustle. Kenyada misses that one. And a foul called to Mims O'Neill. Mims O'Neill. As he was trying to block at Stephen Thomas. Stephen Thomas there. John Smith Jr. is coming back for the Warriors after missing a <laughs> couple of games. That's right. I hope it's a good sign. I hope it is already recovered. I hope he brings good luck for the Warriors. As Bangkok City have not made any substitution yet. A nice steal by Mims O'Neill. So who deflect the pass. That's right. Just seeing him uh, play. You know, Stephen yeah. Thomas is strong. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and he managed to overpower Thomas. <laughs> Nolan again, wide open. John Smith Jr., who just enters the game. And the ball was stolen by Montien. A left hand layup of a turnover by John Smith Jr. Maybe he just have not found <laughs> his rhythm. He has to take a little bit of time, you know, to get, yep. to get accustomed to the court, to feel the court, to get the feeling of the court. Pinta Nolan again being ignored by Stephen Thomas. O'Neill memes trying a left hand scoop as Chris Chalers elbowed Pinta Nolan uh -huh. and Chris Charles will pick his first. His first. So it's already a balanced scoring for the high tech Bangkok City. Five players already scored. That's right. All of them have scored. And as I've mentioned before, no substitution yet for Bangkok City. Mims O'Neill. A replacement for Christian Ellis mm -hmm. and Justin Howard. Last time he was very efficient at both ends of the court. Mm -hmm. yes. Offensively and defensively. Hopefully he can also be playing the same thing this time. Nice two points basket as Jerry Canada smiled as he is being guarded by his fellow friend, Filipino-American <laughs> friend. A Phil M. So, Indonesia Warriors are now back to using the three foreigners. Mm -hmm. Stephen Thomas, an ex-player for Indonesia Warriors, will now shoot two at the line as Kevin Jonas Sitorus will come to the game as he's receiving powder from the bench. And Kevin Yonasitoros will replace Mims O'Neill. Stephen Thomas, not a very good free throw shooter. 50% from the line. And if you look at the stats, he didn't, he doesn't score a lot. Like when he, he was with the uh, Indonesia Warriors, right? Yep. So it reflects, I mean, his, his uh, burden of scoring is taken by Chris Charles. Just under 1 minute and 11 seconds to go in the first quarter. Stephen Thomas just hit one of two free throws. Here comes Vinton Nolan. Nolan. Sitorus a great with a nice Sitorus. offensive rebound. As he was setting a pick to John Smith Jr. He was left wide open for three. Comes up short. 17, 15, two points lead for the Bank of City. Jerry Canada passes to Wutipong Dasong. Another miss for Bank of City. Here the comes by the main Johnson. Johnson. He was fighting the rebound against Chris Charles, and he won it. 
It's over the backboard. From Ann Johnson. Just scored two, four points on the game. As number 13, Pia Pong Pirun will come into the game to replace Montien. <laughs> Twenty-two seconds left on the game. Sixteen seconds left on the shot clock. So it's about four seconds difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Here comes Kenyada to Dasom. A nice jumper inside, but it can't go in. Here comes Nolan with the final six seconds. Arki with a fake. Nolan just one second to go, and Nolan oh did not realize the shot clock was didn't expiring. Didn't realize that it's expiring. Yet. Maybe they should hear that the shot clock <laughs> is about to expire. And the final score in the first quarter is 17-15. High-tech Bangkok City are in the lead with two points. And in the Warriors is look the one who is under pressure. Mm -hmm. So the Warriors have never beaten Bangkok City this season. Mm -hmm. And so do four other teams this season. They lost twice to Bangkok City so far. And once they lost by a margin of 38 points. Mm -hmm. We'll be right back after this one. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned on Air Asia Asian Basketball League 2014. Welcome back, Asian Basketball League fans, to a showdown between Indonesia Warriors versus Bangkok City. And at the end of the first quarter, Warriors are still in deficit by two points. 15 for the Warriors, 17 for high-tech mm -hmm. Bangkok City. As Bonanza Siregar is coming into the game. We haven't seen Christian Ronaldo Sirepu. That's yet. right, yeah. Is he dropped out from the rotation or...? Uh, I don't think. He, he's not in the uh, here. He. Yeah. I didn't see me in the uh, in the lineup. Uh huh. <laughs> and if you look at the stats, the Bangkok high tech was very dominant on the paint. They scored 10 points while Indonesia scored zero. What did Indonesia Warriors do well on the first quarter? Well, they they eat, they can they can shoot from from the R. Uh -huh. At least that's the the uh, the category. The, the uh, category that they are better than the high tech Bangkok. Yep. They tried to shoot eight times, making three. That reflects on the fact that uh, the high tech is better in the paint area. Chris Charles had an amazing season last year after winning ABL, World Import Most Valuable Player, and was named also mm -hmm. the 2014 ABL Defensive Player of the Year by averaging 19.7 points and 14.5 rebounds. That's, that's the reason <laughs> why he led in three categories, right? In block, in yep. uh, rebound, and point, until until Dior Lohan came to grab it from him. <laughs> yep, and Justin Williams <laughs> took the block. The block yeah, category, that's right. From Ann Johnson, trying to check with Tipong Dasom. Get a double team from Sitorus. A double team by Bangkok City. Chris Chalers to Jerry Canada. As a turnover by Chris Chalers. Romain Johnson trying to shoot it over Chris Chalers. And Romain Johnson draws an offensive foul. Offensive foul? Was it offensive foul? It was, it was offensive foul. Was he trying to dunk on Chris Charles? That's right, that's right, that's right. Second if in the league is, on blocks? If it, is, if it is the purpose, then it's unwise. <laughs> but, but what I see is, he wants to drive to the basket in order to get fouled, but instead he was the one who did the foul. 
Canada, left wide open for three, and it's good. Jerry Canada from downtown. He is averaging about 12 points, 11 points. Jerry Canada, a very nice three-point shooter for Bangkok City. Titorus setting a screen for John Smith Jr. who misses the three. Chris Charles with another rebound. Gives it up to Canada. Canada okay. wide open from three, and he misses them. John Smith Jr. to Johnson. A nice ball movement by the Warriors. Bonanza Siragar almost lost the ball. Johnson again, double team. Mims O'Neal, mid-range jumper, and the Warriors get the possession okay. back. Kevin Jonas Sitorus for three. Kevin Jonas Sitorus. So Indonesia Warriors made four trays already mm -hmm. against high tech with zero trays. Out of four attempts. Here comes number 13. Rebound by Chris Charles. Tiapong Pirun. Chris Charles. To Kenyada. Kenyada from the art. Catch and shoot from three. Jerry Kenada, a very little weapon That's why you from the three-point line. Somebody who defends him must be always on the alert. Mims O'Neill against Steven Thomas. Johnson against Wittepong Dasom. Tries hard to drive to the rim as he was challenged by almost three people. And Pandit Lakhan will come to the game. Number 12, replacing Wutipong Dasom, Pandit Lakhan. Jerry Canada thought Lakhan will replace him, but apparently not. John Smith Jr. Thank with a crossover. O'Neal wide open for three. Kevin Jonas, Sitarus again. Okay. What a contribution. Kevin Sitorus by keeping Kevin Sitorus Warriors from alive. The bench. Yeah, that's why. 21-25. Just four points deficit. Here comes Lakhan. Oh. As another great finding by Jerry Canada to Lakhan, who calmly knocked down a three-point shot, even though he was shadowed by Tremaine Johnson. That's right. Tremaine Johnson pulls up for three. Air ball. Another pushes the ball, waiting for everybody to come. And foul away from the ball by Mims O'Neill mm -hmm. as he will pick up his second. So it's 21 28, seven points deficit for the Warriors. I think the Warriors are still in the game because of the three point shooting. That's right, yes. So far. Pandit Lakhan will rebound the ball. Well, inbound the ball. So John Smith must be must be uh, careful with the way Jerry Kanyada handled the ball. Kanyada wants a screen by Chris Charles, who is wide open. A nice defensive coverage. Still by John Smith. John Smith Jr. Followed by two points. John Smith Jr. After missing a couple of games, mm -hmm. get his he finally makes game. it, right? Maybe and this will work. That's right. It's a great thing because he started it with a steal. So now, offensive foul. Chris Charles will draw offensive foul as Mims O'Neill trying to fall from the push by Chris, uh, Chris Charles. <laughs> We want to see more of this between both of them. Uh -huh. Nice back and forth by Mims O'Neill and Chris Charles. John Smith Jr. trapped by Jerry Canada. Forced to go right. Not his preferable hand. As the main Johnson is fouled. John, John Smith have to... Mm -hmm. He has to, actually he has two selections to do with the ball, you know. Yep. He, could, he could have passed it to Siregar. Bonanza Srigar, who was free in the corner, mm -hmm. but he didn't see it. Instead, he was giving the ball to Tremaine Johnson, who is also free under the basket, actually. Mm -hmm. 
So Kanawa Lord Laukul will come into the game, replacing Jerry Canada to rest. Mim Sonil misses the two-point shot. Actually, he got a help from Bonanza. Piapong Pirun. Johnson gambled for the steal. Lord Lakul was blocked. Another one. By Bonanza Siregar. A nice right hand. Wow. That's from John Smith. A defense to an offensive sequence. It's a great sequence. pass break. Quickly shot. A jumper there. John Smith Jr. pushes the ball. Gets the ball back. To Truman Johnson. Just three points deficit for the Warriors. Johnson to a wide open hey, Kevin oh. Sitorus. Johnson! Again. With a put back. Johnson is there, a put back. Off a miss by Kevin Sitorus. And suddenly the Warriors are back in the game with just one point <laughs> deficit. 27 28. Only one point deficit. Four minutes and 34 seconds remaining on the game. We'll be right back after this one. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned on ABR Welcome back to Brita Marena to resume the second quarter action of Air Asia Asian Basketball League 2014 between the Warriors and the Sling uh, and the Bangkok City. As we saw on the court, Bonanza Siragar fouled Pandit Lakhan. So Indonesia Warriors can cut the deficit to only one point. Mm -hmm. It's uh, we should uh, give credit to John Smith. He played a little bit shaky the first one minute, but then. With his two steal, that turns to be four points. It's a credit for him. So, Lakan misses the two shot out of three. So, John Smith Jr. is now back on the yeah, game for the Warriors. What changes for the Warriors as right. John Smith Jr. is coming as back? I, as I said, you know, he and do, Arky Wisnu is healthy as well. He did to steal, which turns to be two, four points. Mm -hmm. So, and uh, of course he has to be careful with the, the way he handles the ball. Because the first time he handles the ball, he lost it. Kevin Yonasitoros. A lot of things are happening. But Lerk Lauko with the ball. Pirun to Chris Charles. As Chris Charles <laughs> turns it over. John Smith Jr. Pinta Nolan, wide open on the three. John Smith Jr. catch and shoots more three. Yeah. What a great combination between Pinta Nolan and John Smith. And now the Warriors bat. are in the lead with <laughs> one point. Finally, they are in the lead. Yabong Pirun to Lakhan to Laird Lauko. Laird Lauko to Thomas on the elbow. Pandit Lakhan comes up short. Chris Chalers chased the rebound. Driving inside over O'Neill. And he gets the rebound. Offensive rebound. And what he fails to make. Two rebounds, but two misses. 
so it's a zero. Nolan. Freedom, Nolan. He can't get it in. Uh -huh. So Another the back of City are now in deficit. Third Lockwood finding Steven Thomas. Who pulls up for two. He misses that one. Here comes John Smith Jr. Back to Mims O'Neill on the post. Whoa. Another turnover by the Warriors. Third Laku to wide open. Pirun. O'Neill. Important, important rebound by O'Neill. Mm -hmm. So quite a couple of missed quite shots. Very, you know, you know if teams. you look if you look at the way they defend Crystal's quite right now. Mm -hmm. So Chris Charles has been silent the last at least two minutes. Both teams are missing a couple of shots. See, that's why the coach has to call out uh, Chris Charles. And the interesting thing, the last time Indonesia Warriors scored the points, I think the defense of Aitak Bangkok was too, too much concentrating on the weaker side of the out of court. Lakhan misses the three. Wisnu with the rebound. Tremaine Johnson on his right. Will he pass it? So it's a foul of Pandit Lakhan. As Wisnu will step into the line. And coming in into game is number 15. Sakdev Goga. And also number 10, Watana Sutisin. Replacing Chris Charles. Nolans against the Disney. Gives it back to Lakudu. Guarded by Lert Lauko. Lakudu. Eight to shoot. Just Five. to shoot. Lakudu. What a nice to the basket. This guy can slash to the basket. As he realized so, that the <laughs> shot clock almost He's winding fired. down, yes. Thomas, Lord Lockwood, pulls up for two, and it's good. Number 18, Kanawat, Lord Lockwood, knocks down a two-point jumper. Just under one minute to go in the second quarter. Wisdom pulls up for two. I think Bangkok City are still in deficit. Lord Lockwood, they're trailing one point only. Mm -hmm. So I think they try to use up the clock. Another turnover, almost turnover. As Don Oko recovers the ball. Gogar. Possession for Indonesia Warrior. As Gogar lost the ball. Another turnover. And Coach Wiwin will call a timeout. To well, strategy for the final possession for the Warriors. So, Bangkok City, if a big Warriors when they were without their best player, Crystal's ones. Yeah, yeah. So, what do you think the recipe to beat such team like Bangkok City? As I mentioned, the, the, first, uh, uh, the first time John Smith uh, came out, I mean, uh, came in the game, he made mistake, but then he recovered it by scoring four points, at least two very important still. Mm -hmm. And uh, the reason why Chris Charles was taken out by the coach, because he was suddenly not too good under the basket. Mm -hmm. And uh, in the Indonesia Warriors players suddenly know how to defend him under the basket. Mm -hmm. Chris Charles, number 21, already with eight points. The leading scorer for High Tech Bangkok City, as well as Jerik Kenyada match the point total of Chris Charles. Steven Thomas has only three points. A lot of players score for both teams already. A well-balanced scoring for both teams. 31 seconds left for the second quarter. So it's about six seconds difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Kudu, waiting for the shot clock to wind down. 
Shot clock down to nine. Titorus. Lakudu. Wide open for three. Wow. Lakudu for the shot. From three-point land. Makes the Warriors. And they can make that two. Jermaine Johnson missed that buzzer beating shot at the final of second quarter. And the last three points by Lakudu makes the Warriors are leading by four points. 35-31 at the end of second quarter. The Warriors are not in the lead in the first, at the end of first quarter. But right now they are in the lead with four points. Good sign for the Warriors so far. That's right. Good sign for the Warriors. And good sign also that the fact that they know how to defend Chris Charles. It's a good point. They know to, how to make Chris Charles not score much. And I think that's also the key is to defend Jerry Canada as well, who that's is very dangerous on the three point line. Uh -huh. So, again, Bangkok City, number one in the league right now. That's a very amazing feat. Eight wins and one losses so far. And we we'll also go to the sidelines as we'll be joined by Mr. Anoticalo with the interview. Take it, Mr. Anoticalo. the moment over the high-tech Bangkok City. Coach, did you expect this kind of half, uh, first half with the uh, high-tech Bangkok City? No, because Charles and Steve, they get a lot of balls under the paint. They may score uh, in the first half, four-point easy basket under the basket. That's true, but the Warriors have been taking perimeter shots, outside shots, not forcing the inside lane. Was that part of the plan as well? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's that, that's our that's our game plan. Yeah. Okay, one last question. What do we expect to see in the third quarter, facing the high tech? What's the game plan? I see on the second quarter. I see on the second quarter. We hope in the third and fourth quarter we do it well. We do it well in the fourth and third. All right, coach. Thank you and good luck. Nelson, back to you. Thank you, Mr. Anoticalo, for a nice interview. It's amazing to me that. Uh, the Indonesian Warriors assistant coach feels that they're not supposed to lead at the end of second quarter. They're surprised because they, he said that uh, Chris Charles and Stephen Thomas are getting a lot of points in the paint. So what, what are your comments on that? Well, then, if you look at the score, that actually Indonesia Warriors can take it. They can take the lead by four points after, you know, after trailing almost all the, all the uh, time the whole quarter, mm -hmm. they have done a great job defending Chris Charles. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, O'Neill Mims defending him, and sometimes he got also help from Pinter Nolan, who is strong. Pinter yep. is a little bit slow, but he's very strong with his two foot, two feet, you know, on the floor, he can guard Chris Charles. Mm -hmm. I've seen it several times, and that's the reason why Chris Charles was taken by the coach to take a break, you know. So uh, his being outside the court also helps Indonesia Warrior to score a couple of, uh, you know, shots. Did you see both teams already bring out their best performance so far? So far, yes, that's why. Right. So far they have brought their best, but then I still see two quarters. We will see more of them, of course. Mm -hmm. We will see that they can play better than the first and the second quarter. And if you look at the... Uh, and it's a warrior bands, mm -hmm. they can they can uh, contribute. Uh, John Smith and then uh, Sitorus mm -hmm. with his two important trays. Mm -hmm. This is going to happen again in the next quarter. Yep. So they have never warriors have never beaten a Bangkok City before, That's as right. we know. So but is this a, a performance that you would like to see? Maybe from maybe the this warriors? is going to be the first time. And uh, the funny thing that I look, you know. There are several instances that uh, the score, the points were made by the Indonesia Warriors because the defense, the defense of the uh, high-tech was caught off guard 
and there instead of guarding the whole court they concentrate on the weaker side because they are afraid that suddenly the ball will be passed to Indonesian warrior player in the weak side okay I've seen that one thank you Mr. Nehart we'll be right back to resume the third quarter action of Air Asia Asian Basketball League 2014 but run after this one don't go anywhere
Asian Basketball League fans to a showdown between Indonesia Warriors, the hometown team, and High Tech Bangkok City. Right now, halftime, Warriors are in the lead with four points as we are waiting for the third quarter action to resume. Let's wait for the third quarter action to resume as we see on the court. Yeah, well, if you look at the, uh, if you look at the stats, eight of the uh, Indonesia Warriors players already scored, while the High Tech Bangkok only seven players already scored. And uh, if you look at the uh, fouls, Indonesia Warriors already collecting nine fouls, while High Tech Bangkok only seven fouls. And of course, the good thing is. So far, two quarters, Chris Charles only scored eight points. It's way below his average. It's way below his average. So if if the Indonesia warrior can keep this trend, then it's a good sign for the Indonesia warriors that they can beat the Bangkok High Tech in this very important game for the Indonesia warriors. Chris Charles scored eight points. For the Warriors, uh, for the Bank of City. So, Bank of City, four points deficit, and the game is about to start. I have to mention that the last two home games that Warriors play, <laughs> they were able to win both games against That's Slings right. and Dragons. That's right. So there is three out of four wins that the Warriors have this season <laughs> were on the home as well. So, what are the recipe of success for Indonesia Warriors to play better at home? Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> three out of four wins are at home. That's right. So, of course, they are expecting, and the Indonesia Warrior fans are expecting that this game also will be won by uh, Indonesia Warrior mm -hmm. to to keep uh, their playoff uh, chance alive. Yep. And the last five games, mm -hmm. Warriors have won three out of five. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, on the first six games. That's they right. just won one, one out of six. Out of Are six. they just starting to play better or the roster change has something to do with the result? I think the roster mm -hmm. change has something to do with that. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, the urgency, the fact, mm -hmm. after losing so many games, they are starting to realize which part of the uh, sectors that they are weak. Mm -hmm. And uh, certainly, uh, of course, first, the most important thing is the, the uh, points, right? The scorer. And of course the rebounds and the defense, which reflects in the steal, everything can over uh, from the uh, opponents. And uh, looking at the last uh, three wins, I see the trend is getting better for Indonesia Warriors, and which is also a good sign because the uh, local players are playing big basketball games. Okay. On the other hand, is an 8-1 record, 89% winning percentage, That's right. number one in the league in regular standing so far. It's, what are the reasons for the winning performance for Bangkok City up until now? It's a very impressive, you know, because because uh, of course the reason is the reason is the combination of Jerry Kanyada and Chris Charles. Mm -hmm. And when it doesn't happen, it's Chris Charles and Steve Thomas. Mm -hmm. And if those two did not happen, you see the local players like. Botipong and Dasom mm -hmm. can take over the burden of scoring in yep. certain minutes, in yep. certain times. So that's the reason why Bangkok High Tech is very strong in the league so far. That was a game when das, uh, I think Botipong Dasom is mm -hmm. one of the top scorers that's right. on Bangkok City's win. Mm -hmm. So it's a good sign to see that the local players can step up for Bangkok City. Which is also a good, a good sign also for the basketball of the region, the ASEAN uh, region that uh, with this league, playing together with people, with the players from uh, outside the region, mm -hmm. they get a better experience. They have a better playing time. Mm -hmm. And of course, the result will be, will be, will be uh, they will feel the result once they are participating in local only competition. The third quarter. Has resumed. John Smith Jr., R.K. Wisnu, Mims O'Neill, Remain Johnson, and Finton Nolan are on the court for the Warriors. Jerry Canada, Wuti Pong Dasom, Stephen Thomas, uh, and Montien are on the court for Bangkok City. Mims O'Neill taking a tough three 
over Stephen Thomas. I think it was Il Jato because Steve Thomas was just too close. Jerry Canada trying to shake John Smith Jr. Combination of Jerry and Steve Thomas, the one that I mentioned. Stephen it Thomas, is. what a nice post it move. It wasn't an assist by Jerry Canada, but the ball was from him. 33-35. Warriors are still in the lead with two points. Pinto Nolan was oh. blocked. <laughs> he should have just give the ball, given the ball to O'Neill Mims. Almost a double, <laughs> almost a travel, almost a block shot, That's but he right. got the foul. <laughs> so he was lucky. <laughs> we got an update from Mr. Anotikalu that Christian no, no. Rado Sitapu is having a thigh injury. Thigh injury, yeah. That's why we so didn't see him. So he will not play today. <laughs> and hopefully the Indonesia Warriors did not, do not miss him because we, they have also uh, Sitorus who can score trays. Pintanolan missing both free throws. Kenyada. Chris Charles again. Only a meme. Face and drives. His way too strong, too skilled for Mims O'Neill, <laughs> who is unable to stop the ABL World Import Most Valuable Player last year. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, it's uh, bad news for Mims Warriors because Mims already made his third foul and he was giving a sign that he won't, he will not. Take a break. Chris Charles tried to dunk it on Tremaine Johnson as the plays are broken up by Tremaine Johnson on the mid air. And Chris Charles, let's see the replay as he was trying to dunk it on the rim, but Tremaine Johnson providing resistance. Chris Charles. Led the league in blocks last season with 4.1. And he got those nice defensive player of the year trophy. So, Bangkok City are now back in the lead. With two points. Four unanswered points by the Warriors. Nolan. John Smith Jr. trying to check Jerry Kenyada. Pulls up for two. Oh, oh, it's back by Mims. Nice back there. Tied the game at 37. And everybody was trying to guard John Smith. That's right. And he was left wide open for the offensive rebound. Wutipong Dasa. Wutipong Dasa. They have to be careful with him. Kanyada. Wide Kairi open. Kanye wide open. Four three. Comes the knockdown. A three point shot. You Jerry cannot Kanyada. let him alone, you know, in the corner. Wide right. open. That's Jerry Kanyaja. We have seen him doing that kind of things many, many times. Bangkok City are now in the lead thanks to Jerry Kanyaja's three points. Jerry Kanyaja, second leading scorer in the game with 11 points. Chris Charles, top scorer in the game with 12 points. Seven minutes and 48 seconds remaining on the third quarter. Just three points deficit for the Warriors. Johnson to John Smith Jr. Quinton Nolan hesitates and shoots for two. Can't get that one in. Rebound fighting between Mims and Charles. Charles to Thomas inside. And plays broken up by Tremaine Johnson. And Tremaine Johnson lost the ball he couldn't cut the ball you know because i think it's just too too quick for the mm -hmm. for john smith to release the ball he wasn't ready for that you think it's john smith's bad or no 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 well, well he, he's talking about the fast fast break so it's just happened like that that the uh, defender has a player between john smith and tremaine johnson a oh, nice steal Another by Jermaine one. Johnson. And he lost the ball. They lost the ball. Used to double team by 
Bank of City. Oh, oh. So many, oh my God. Another steal. And a hard foul by John Smith Jr. As Jerry Canada got the steal and mm. quickly passes to Chris Charles. And it was fouled hard by John Smith Jr. Everybody on it's Bank of City. You know, I mean, it's been turning over the ball from both sides, you know. Uh -huh. At least two times both sides turning the ball and ending up with a foul by John Smith. Chris Charles, here comes the replay. As he was fouled hard, a hand by John Smith Jr. Mm -hmm. tries to bring Chris Charles down. And timeout call to make sure that Chris Charles is okay. <laughs> so the Warriors are now uh, three points deficit. They lost the lead. Yeah. The last time, I think the last time Tremaine Johnson handled the board, he shouldn't have uh, dribbled from the back, you know. Mm -hmm. Actually, he could just look back that see on the left, his friend, is, his teammate is free. Mm -hmm. That way, maybe, maybe Indonesia Warriors could have scored two points. Yep, a little bit careless for both teams. And as we have received now, it. Now, if you look at the stats from quarter one and two, mm -hmm. uh, remember in the first quarter, high tech, Score 10 points from the pain and zero by Indonesia Warriors. But now, high tech remains 10 points. That mm -hmm. means there is no point, no additional point in the pain, while Indonesia Warriors score eight. So that's the reason why Indonesia during that quarter take over the lead. And if you look at the, uh, the steal, you know, Indonesia Mera still made nine steel while the uh, high-tech Bangkok only two. And those steel, half of them turn to be points. Nice points there by Mr. Nehartawas. As we continue the game of a timeout, Chris Charles returns to his favorite country, Thailand, as well as his old team, where he also played for Bangkok City last season. That's right. Bangkok City are now in the lead with five points. Steven Thomas providing a screen to Kenyada. Chris Charles on the elbow, mid-range shot. The ball. To Jermaine Johnson, to John Smith. Miss on the alley -oop. <laughs> Of an alley <laughs> by John Smith Jr. Cut the lead to three points. And the Warriors are uh -huh. calling for the travel. It's a travel, yeah. yeah. By Kenyatta. A turnover. Possession by Medusa Warrior. But regardless, the Warriors got the ball back. Mm -hmm. John Smith Jr., Sinta Nolan, Remain Johnson, Aki Wisnu, and Mims O'Neill are on the court for the Warriors. Remain Johnson pulls up for three. Foul. by number four from Bangkok City, Wong Sa Wang Tam Montien, who will pick up his third. He'll quickly be replaced by Watana Sutasin, number 10. Stephen Thomas, Chris Charles, Wutipong Daswam, and Jerry Canada, as well as Watana Sutasin are on the court for Bangkok City. Jermaine Jansen. Working against Dasom to Nolan. O'Neill to Kito Wisnu. Back to O'Neill. Fakes, drives. Pinta Nolan. A pass, a clever pass. A, a great nice move. Ball by, ball. A very nice ball movement by the Indonesian warrior. Almost all players last right. before they score. <laughs> Is it a three? And Tremaine Johnson with the rebound. So. Pinta Nolan, wide open for three. In and, In and out. out. Wow. Rebound by Stephen Thomas. Here comes Kenyatta. Two wide open. Sutisin. Over the backboard. 
in position for Indonesia Warriors. 41-42, just one point deficit for the Warriors. Under 5 minutes and 11 seconds to go in the third quarter. Wisnu. Tutisin is on Wisnu. Nolan again to Tremaine Johnson. Mims on here, left wide open for three. Wow. You see, another instance of how they rotate the ball. I think Stephen Thomas is unwilling to guard Mims on here outside. That's right, that's right. And just that let him shoot three. We'll see how long will Stephen Thomas let Mims on here wide open from the three by point. Chris Charles was found by Finder Nolan. As we have seen, Steve Thomas reluctant to guard it a big man that yeah, can shoot sure. three from the outside. Mm -hmm. It's interesting to see that uh, Chris Charles and Tremaine Johnson fighting it out for the rebounds at both ends of the court. Mm -hmm. And they take turn, you know, taking the rebounds, you know. Pia Pong Piron checks into the game. To Kenyatta, fakes. Charles, turnaround jumper. And he was fouled. He was fouled. Tremaine Johnson. And for fouled? the Warriors, Kevin Yonasitoros also comes back into the game. He couldn't believe it. So it's the foul for Tremaine Johnson. Tremaine Johnson. As Indonesian Warriors both involved have already picked up their third foul. Chris Charles knocks down the first free throw out of two. 15 points out of him. So far, and his free throw ties the game for Bangkok City and the Warriors. 44 for the Warriors and also for Bangkok City. Wisnu driving hard to the rim, but he lost the ball. Jay Canada picks up the loose ball and lost the ball as well. Mims O'Neill holding the ball. An alley of the Truman Johnson. Almost, and O'Neill trying to reset the offense. Backs. Stephen Thomas is on him. Tremaine Johnson, Johnson catch and shoot. Rebound, rebound by Chris Charles. Nobody from Indonesia Warrior fight for the rebound. Pirun to Thomas inside. Stolen by Tremaine Johnson. Two against two. Johnson to Josh Junior. What a mislayout! Oh, what a bad Almost. One Tremaine Johnson was there to put it back. I cannot believe it. <laughs> it's his favorite hand, right? Exactly. That's right. Stephen Thomas to Jerry Canada. Comes up short. Oh! What a careless pass by Tremaine Johnson. Very, very careless. Canada. Nice assist, almost. Uh -huh. To Watana Sutisin. The foul. And Tremaine Johnson is in foul trouble right now. He is in foul trouble. Bad news for four fouls. As number 27, Mana Jantuma will come into the game. Mm -hmm. Replacing Jerry Kenyada. So Tremaine Johnson has to leave. Tremaine Vincent Johnson Nolan replaced him. Four fouls already by Tremaine Johnson. As we can see, mm -hmm. he is disrupting. The shot of Watana Sutisin. He wrongly messed the height of the jam of his opponent. So instead of touching the ball with the hands, it's with the, his elbow. So Vinta Nolan will come to replace Tremaine Johnson. Tremaine Johnson, only, only eight points so mm -hmm. far with third quarter. Arke Wisnu. From outside, shake and shoot. Whoa! Over Steve Thomas. What a nice <laughs> mid range fadeaway jumper That's right. by Arki Wisnu as he put the Warriors in the lead by four points. Four points. 48 44 with just two minutes and 47 seconds in the game. So, Mr. Nehart, <laughs> as we see, this is not a good sign for the Warriors. Tremaine Johnson leaving the court. That's right. Too far so. trouble. So is is you, it a good tactic to sub him out? Or, yeah, of course, yeah, because it's, the, the game is still long. Mm -hmm. He has to sit down to calm his uh, emotion down. Mm -hmm. And, well, you don't have to make another foul. Otherwise, 
it's going to happen like the last game when Dior Lon Paon was in power trouble. Mm -hmm. It's going to happen like that if he was he was kept in in the court, you know. So I think it's it's uh, wise to take him out of the uh, game yep. and replace. He, he was replaced by Vincent Nolan, yep. right? And uh, he contributed at least in the defense. But you know, Vincent Nolan is playing on perimeter. That's it's, right. it's, it's not it's, as it's easy different, of course. It's to get foul if you're mm -hmm. playing center. And, yeah, but <laughs> you know. And Sermon Johnson is also dependable for the offensive end of the floor yeah, for the Warriors. If you look at the uh, stat, of course, uh, Mitch O'Neill, I think, is the top scorer of the game with 14 points. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's uh, O'Neill Mim with. Mm -hmm. And the game resumes. Patana Sutisi. Number 27, Mana Jantuma. Tiapong Pirun, number 13. Chris Charles and Stephen Thomas for Bangkok City. Jantuma, a big point guard for Bangkok City. Stephen Thomas down low. Very strong. Warriors can keep him. Oh, the the thought he was he was, uh, he was fouled. I mean, Steve Thomas did the uh, offensive foul, but it wasn't the case. Famiga Michel wide open. Nolan Wait, got Nolan the rebound. Nolan again finding Wisnu. Decided not to strike a three. Michel swings to Vinton Nolan from three point oh, land. Vinton Nolan. <laughs> Off the bench, he smiles. A replacement he for Tommy Johnson. It's seldom to see him smiling. You know? And the Warriors, I think, are playing zone right now. 2-3 mm -hmm. zone. They play zone test. A nice defense by Famiga Michel. Forcing a turnover. Yep. 51-46. Wisnu with Michel on the wing. Shot clock down to 13. Trying to work two main games. Famiga Michel oh, lost the ball. Wow. Pinto Nolan. Arke Wisnu and Famiga Michel just checks in to the game. Warriors are now playing two Famiga three Michel meant to bounce the ball once and shoot, but it didn't happen. Watana, shoot this in. 4-3. He knocks down the three-point shot. Mm -hmm. 49. 51, just two points deficit, under one minute and 10 seconds to go in the third quarter. Warriors are playing zone. <laughs> they have to they have swing to the ball and course, yeah. shoot three points to break the zone. This is what they are going to do. Pinto Nolan to win on the ball. outside. All five players are on outside. On, outside yeah. O'Neal to Nolan. And I think the ball will go to Stephen Thomas. Mm -hmm. All five players are on, on, on the outside for the Warriors <laughs> yeah. for the last possession. Everybody they, tries to take the three point shot. Take the, the tray. So another substitution for the Warriors as Bonanza Siregar and Kevin Yonasi Terus are in the game. Chris Chalos oh. breaking the zone again for the Warriors. No, cannot, nobody can stop him if he's driving like that under the basket. On the pain, and the five points list mm. have vanished for the Warriors, and our scores is tied. Hand to shoot, about 11 second difference between the shot clock and game clock. <laughs> but the Warriors lost the possession due to an offensive foul. Offensive foul, which by Arke Arke Wisnu. Wisnu didn't agree with. Arke Wisnu will pick up his second. Again, sticking to the zone for the Warriors. 2-3 zone. And the Warriors broke the play up. Ball goes out of bounds. Shot clock down to 10. Watana is in. Drives to the rim. Tiapong Pirun. Shot over Vinto Nolan. Thomas kept it alive. And he was fouled when he went up. So just under just one <laughs> seconds 
1.7 seconds remaining in the third quarter. If the Warriors can go the shot up. And I think they gain control on the pain. Mm -hmm. As you know, the, the, last, the, last, uh, the last quarter, actually, it was Indonesia Warrior who was dominant under the, the basket on the pain. Now they take it over again with Steve Thomas and Chris Charles being on the court. Stephen Thomas knocks down one out of two. As he will step up, step up to shoot the second free throw. One point lead right now for the Warriors. Just under 1.7 seconds to go in the third. Stephen Thomas. And Nolan comes up with the rebound. It's very As he doesn't try to shoot the ball to beat the buzzer. We will head for a break and we will resume the game right after the following messages. Don't go anywhere. Basketball League 2014 between Indonesia Warriors and Bangkok City. As the score right now to start the fourth quarter is 52 for High Tech Bangkok City. Warriors have 51. So mm -hmm. before so, they have a five point split. 51-46. That's right. That's why this and situation. Roman Johnson is coming that's out it. from the game because of uh -huh. the foul trouble and they were forced to play zone. That's right. That's and right. I think it backfired. See, without, without him, without him, I think with the zone. They cannot handle uh, Chris Charles, mm -hmm. you know. They cannot handle, and it reflects in the statistic that you see uh, the uh, points in the paint in the third quarter. Indonesia Warrior was leading. Now they have made the same, the same uh, 16 points. Both team scored 16 points from the paint. It's a very tight game overall. Jan Tuma goes on the court. Piron for three. A he knocks down a three. I think it's a clever uh, ball movement. The ball handler seeing the uh, weak side and see one of the teammates was free. And Tremaine Johnson is already back on the game regardless of the four fouls he got. Even though they're still a quarter of the play. Already contributing. Tremaine Johnson That's important. will not wait the score mm -hmm. as he will play center for the Warriors. And the Warriors are... And he has to be careful in the way defending Chris Charles or Steve Thomas in this case. Stephen Thomas kept the ball alive as he was hacked by John Smith Jr. Mm -hmm. It's not Johnson, okay. So John Smith Jr. will pick up his second. Tremaine Johnson playing center for the Warriors. Yapong Pirun, catch and shoot from three, another three-point bomb for High Tech Bangkok City. <laughs> and now Indonesia Warrior trailing by four points. So it's a 12-3 run by Bangkok City so far. And Bangkok City are now in the lead with four points. Bonanza Edgar <laughs> was blocked yes. by Chris Tao. <laughs> He thought he had uh, quite a space between himself and Chris Charles, uh -huh. but he forgot his his wings. You know, his wingspan is that high. John Smith Jr. wide open for three. 
he puts up a three. Jasmine Jr. with eight points. So it's one point deficit. Jan Tumat, dumps it to Thomas. Sutis it. And Pinta Nolan battling for rebound. As the ref signaled that he was grabbing <laughs> Chris Charles' hand. Kenyada back in the game. Another player of Indonesia Warriors in foul trouble now. Mims with four fouls. Remain Johnson and now Vinton Nolan. They're a little bit short-handed on the big man department. As three of their big men are in foul trouble. But the Warriors are hanging in there. Carlos the shoot, the yes. Piabong Pirun. Off runner. Arke Wisnu. Handles the ball, quickly gives it up to Bonanza Zirga, and he executed it very well. Warriors are now back in the lead with just one point, 59, 58. With three players in the foul trouble. Another turnover by Black of City due to a nice defensive play <laughs> by Warriors. And Clinton is wide open. He can't get it to go. Quinta Nolan missed the wide open three. Here comes Kenyada. Almost lost the ball to Watana Sutise. Pulls up for two. Nolan with the rebound. Three on two. Nolan on the run. Alley up to Tremaine Johnson. Tremaine Johnson lost the ball. And the plays are broken up by Watana Sutise. Wutipong Dasong is back on the game. Mm -hmm. Replacing Watana Sutisin. I assume that he will guard Clement Johnson. Sure, yeah. Forcing him to get. Forcing him to get full trouble. The fifth foul. Bonanza Siragar. John Smith didn't see that Bonanza is free. Also playing zone is Bank of City. Stephen Thomas coming out to guard Nolan. Kicks it to John Smith. Wow! It's a, it's a clever play by Vinton Nolan. He see the court, he see his teammates. John Smith is free beyond the arc. So it's a zone defense battle between two teams. Now, another rebound. What a contribution by Vinton Nolan. Archivisto goes up, and he can't get it to go. Kanyada runs with the ball. Wide open, Piabong Kirun, 4-3. He can get it to go. Great rebound by Tremaine Johnson. Tremaine Johnson with the rebound. And he is in the foul trouble. So you see, the foul trouble doesn't seem to bother them at all. Bangkok City <laughs> also playing with zone defense. Zone defense, yeah. Just so, just another three. That was the Warriors in the lead with seven points. And the crowd in Brisbane <laughs> Arena. It's going crazy for <laughs> the Warriors right now. <laughs> so, what do you think? Well, was they don't well? seem to be bothered with the fact that three of their uh, important players are in in, in foul trouble. Yep. And uh, never mind the defense, you know, because I see that actually it's the zone defense that they can they can uh, make the basis of. That's why they're shooting three very freely. As we can see on the board, the coach are drawing zone defense. John Smith Jr. tries to take advantage of the space created That's right. by the zone defense. Created by the zone defense. And it's uh, the last two possessions, at least it was a very clever play by Pinta Nolan. He sees, you know, he couldn't take the trace, but then he drives to the basket and then he sees John Smith is free. As and John see. Smith executed that very, very well. And as you can see on the screen that Coach Wiwin is instructing on how to play That's a right. good zone defense. How to beat. <laughs> or even how to beat, how to beat the, the zone defense again. Zone defense. Bank of City. So right now the zone defense for Bank of City is not working. It's not working. <laughs> it's a nice ball movement and finding but, uh, like from That's Pintanola. basic, you know, you beat, it's basic. You beat zone defense with three points. Uh -huh. And to do that you have to, to have players who can execute three points 
and in this case Indonesia Warriors have the players to do that. Ready for Gasso. And a nice defensive play <laughs> by, by Bonanza Bonan Siregar. Warriors regain just... possession. <laughs> nice defensive recovery by Bonanza Siregar. John Smith Jr. handles the ball. Jerry Canada is on him. He was fouled. As Derek will oh, pick up Derek. his first. As the referee calming players on the court. So Arki Wismu will inbound Some, the ball. Something happened between Jerry and Finton. Of course, Jerry doesn't know. Finder Nolan because Finder Nolan was a part of the team in, 19, in uh, 2012 when they win the championship. John Smith Jr. So wide open Bonanza Jirgar. Oh, in and out. Warriors trying to break the zone from back of City. Canada asking for the screen from Chris Charles. Piafong Pirun to Wutipong Dasong. Finn Nolan get the rebound with the help of Jermaine Johnson. Here comes Josh Jr. Aki Wisno against Kenyada. Nolan finding resistance by Stephen Thomas and Chris Charles. Whoa, oh, what a steal! What a nice steal by Josh Jr. As he quickly goes up <laughs> for a layup. What a nice what a steal. Nice steal and he drove it by himself. And a nice drive by John Smith Jr. Even though he doesn't get, he doesn't get a point, but he still but gets yeah, yeah. Well, at least. Montien, welcome to the game. Replacing Pia Pong Pirun. Pia Pong Pirun will pick up his first. John Smith Jr. with a nice steal. I would say a nice comeback for him as well on this game. That's right. Yeah. After, the, after the injury, mm -hmm. not playing for uh, a few uh, games. Mm -hmm. Already. And he's back, making the impact for Indonesia Warriors. Already leaving a mark on this game. John That's Smith right. Jr. Warriors. So a little bit too hard by Stephen Thomas. It was offensive foul. Stephen Thomas will pick up his third on the game. He couldn't believe it as he's trying to <laughs> block Arki Wisnu. And now he got the technical foul by the referee. <laughs> Because apparently he complained too much. So Stephen Thomas it's is tough, in tough, foul yeah. trouble right now. <laughs> yeah, he's in foul trouble and not a very it's, good, it's not a very good situation. And wise decision it's by Stephen wise, Thomas. Of course, yeah. He let his teammates down in that kind of things, you know. They are, they are trailing by uh, eight points. Mm -hmm. And giving away maybe two free throws by Johnson and possession. That's a very bad decision. Not a very wise move by Stephen Thomas. That's right. Under the hip, yeah. emotions <laughs> running high yeah. for Stephen Thomas. <laughs> Not only they lost the ball, Warriors get two free throws That's and right. get and possession. possession. And now trailing by 10 points. Ten While points the time is winding down. John Smith get a half from this move. Bona. Bonanza with the rebound. A miss rebound actually by Chris Charles. Smartly gives the ball, the ball back up. And now a foul by Tremaine Johnson. So he has to. He will head out from the game as he is fouled out with five fouls. Bad news Johnson. for Indonesia Warriors. He is fouled out. He is fouled out, yes. Due to a moving screen or a very aggressive <laughs> screen from Tremaine Johnson. And 
uh, Tremaine Johnson is still on the court protesting. Yeah. And we will see the replay of the foul. And it was a little bit of push. It's something like from Tremaine Johnson. Well, so sometimes it, it depends when, uh, where you see the the, uh, the instance, you know, from different angle, maybe it's not a foul. Yep. So, Tremaine Johnson will not be able to play again for the Warriors on this game. Due to five fouls he got. James O'Neill with the rebound. John Smith Jr. wants to calmly... Just try to winding down the time. The Wish clock. No. Wish no. Rebound by Thomas. Very Canada. Waiting for Stephen Thomas. And to come. Here comes Thomas. Down low. And the referee blows the whistle. One, if one of them gets the foul, it oh, will right. be foul out. <laughs> but apparently, the coach only warns both players <laughs> All right. not to okay. flop. Okay. All right. <laughs> right? So, a full court pressure by Bang City. As we see, <laughs> O'Neill means taking a fall from Tim Thomas Elmo on the replay. And the coach is on the sideline right now on both teams. Eight point lead for the Warriors. Wisnu driving inside, has it to Pinta Nolan. Lost the ball. Jerry Canada on the open floor. Comsley knocks down a layup for Bangkok City. Off the turnovers from Warriors. A nice two points by Bangkok City as Jerry Canada. And the time, and the time is still way, three minutes is still too long so for the Indonesia Warriors to see the fact that they have lost Tremaine Johnson for being fouled out. Mm -hmm. But the good news is they still got Mims O'Neill. Yes. Even though he is in foul trouble. And he has just to be uh, playing carefully. Yep. To be uh, wise in handling the defense. Yep. So just six points lead as Coach Chokoda Raka calls a timeout to stop the run by Hatek Bangkok City. And as somebody from Indonesia Warriors maybe have to try to, you know, to be uh, playing a little bit of clever type of play against Steve Thomas because he's now in foul trouble too actually. As we Good see on the foul. replay, Stephen Thomas recognizing that Pinto Nolan mm -hmm. is in foul trouble. And this is the Jerry Canada's layup of the turnover by the Warriors. That puts the Bangkok City with a six points deficit. Only six point deficit. And this is the, the things that I think Indonesia Warriors have to be careful. Full court defense by High Tech Bangkok. Pinto Nolan ejected by the Burst tower team. of Bangkok City. Uh -huh. Here comes Montier. Kanyada to Dasong. Drives inside. And foul ball. Arki Dikania Wisnu will pick up his second. Putipong Dasong is fouled. And he will inbound. Montien got the ball on the inbound. Kanyada fires the pass to Dasong to Montien. Now tries to dump it to Chris Kao. Double team by the Warriors. As the shot clock running down. Thomas with the offensive rebound. And foul before the shot. Foul before the shot, that's right. As John Smith Jr. will pick up his third. It's a team foul already, so 
Bangkok City will head into the line regardless. Steven Thomas, top 5 in rebound with 12.2 rebounds per game. And also top 5 in blocks with 1.2 blocks per game. Along with 50% per in free throw mm -hmm. in this game. As we so see on the we expect, I mean, Indonesia Warriors expects to see him only make one of the two free throws. Knocking down the last free throw, cutting down the deficit to four points. Again with their full court pressure, I take Bangkok. Two minutes and 23 seconds remaining on the game. John Smith Jr., two man game with the Warriors. Oh, what a nice rejection. <laughs> Not in Thomas. here, said Stephen Thomas. But it's. it's Three to shoot for the Warriors. <laughs> As Bonanza Sirga. Finger wagging Steve Thomas. It wasn't allowed in NBA. I see. It wasn't allowed in NBA. In FIBA, I don't know. So Bonanza Sirga will inbound the ball to John Smith Jr. who pulls up for two. And now nice with the important rebound. Rebound of fresh 24 <laughs> seconds for the Warriors. Four points lead for the Warriors, just under two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Here comes John Smith Jr. with a nice floater. Whoa! No, what a nice defense. Move. That's right. By Bangkok City. <laughs> they just let John Smith Jr. to shoot. Butifong Dasong tries to swing it to Canada. I think it's a three second violation. Three second violation. That's right. <laughs> by the big man of Bank of City. Warriors. Again, their full court press. Bonanza, double team, trapped by Stephen Thomas. We still got the ball. Again, a nice defensive sequence by Bank of City. Means O'Neal. They handled the full court pressure very well. Five to shoot, three to shoot. Bonanza, Sirgar. This is the bank shot. Just under a minute and 30 seconds to go in the fourth quarter. Budipam Dasong finding Stephen Thomas. Basket counts and the foul. Stephen oh. Thomas got the two points with a nice turnaround and, and left hand hook. And Mims, O'Neill Mims. What a bad foul out. What a bad defensive sequence That's right, yeah. for the Warriors. As Mims O'Neill <laughs> is fouled out due to the five fouls he got. So no import players. No import players, no the Warriors on the court. Indonesia Warrior has to rely on their local players with John Smith. And they still have a chance to win this game. Steven Thomas. Oh, what a nice putback by Chris Chalas of the miss from Steven Thomas. Nobody can box him out. Now, Archivisto lost the ball. Stephen Thomas, match scramble for the ball. Kanyada goes up, and he was fouled by Archivisto. He has to. He uh -huh, was dropped the two points. And it's uh, So suddenly now, good. the points have <laughs> evaporated. That's yeah. right, yeah. So it's 49 seconds. So Kanyada. The best free throw shooter, shooter is for now on the line. City. Bad news for Indonesia Warriors. Kenyada! Wow! 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 Full court pass. Warriors only have one point lead. And Indonesia Warriors expecting that John Smith would make both of the free throws. Oh, so Kenyada fouled John Smith Jr. as he will step up to the line. Mm -hmm. 
So now it's a mental game for both That's teams. That's right. Who this can very calmly knock down free throw? That's right. This, for the team. this is the most important thing. Oh, uh, oh. John Smith Jr. misses the first out of two. He is an 82% free throw shooter, but apparently, you know, this in situation, a class situation. It, it happens to Jerry Canale just now, you know. The okay. pressure. The pressure is that too John, big for them to, to bear, you know. John Smith Jr. knocks down one out of two. Just two points lead for the Warriors. So, if you are back of City, <laughs> will you shoot for the three or well, try the score? Well, you have to see the situation. If it is wide open, then why not shoot the three? Warriors playing with another zone. So, yeah. defense was the Warriors. Putipang Dasong. Oh, well, this got the rebound. very important rebound by Finton Nolan. John Smith Jr. escapes from the defense. By and Arki, Arki was ready. On the As weak side, we see also Bonan Sasirega on the weak side. John Smith Jr. way off the mark. And a nice strategy by Bengal City. <laughs> elected not to foul. That's right. Even yeah. though maybe they have only <laughs> four seconds, if the Warriors takes up all the shot clock. And now, Stephen Thomas got the rebound, and he was fouled. He was fouled. With just 8.6 seconds to go. Warriors well. are now in the lead with just two points. Will Bangkok City take the three-point shot to win the game, or, or force the game into overtime? Over what do you think? Uh, well, of course, the first choice, I believe they will try to take the three. Okay? Two the in the game. Choice. If somebody is wide open, they will have to set up their best player in three point free by maybe doing some screening. But then, but then, I think when the situation is not allowed for them to do that, they have to take two and send the game into overtime. So, tries to swing the ball. If somebody gets open for three, That's if right. not, uh -huh. drive to the basket and maybe... And, and this is, as you said, this is a mental game now. And this also depends so much also on how the Indonesia Warriors do the defense. As Kevin Jonas Sitarus tries to steal the ball from Stephen Thomas. And he was caught a foul by referee. So, let's see. Will Warriors keep... The win with just two mm -hmm. points lead. Maintaining the win with two points. Will their defense be able to hold down Bangkok City, who only lost one time? And it's now a mental game for Stephen Thomas. 50% right. from the line. Supposedly, he will miss one or two. What do you think? Okay. Yep. Yeah. Stephen <laughs> Thomas. <laughs> it's, it's very tough, you know. Very tough. Kevin Thomas already missed one out of two. And Warriors keep Chris Charles. Nobody. And Stephen Thomas got the rebound back. And he will again head back to the line. <laughs> Nobody can box out Stephen Thomas. Of they course, did a good yeah, job boxing out FNP, Chris yeah. Charles. <laughs> but, you know, two, but two people so on Chris that's Charles. That's right, yeah. That's and right. He cannot. They have. The situation is very bad for them because the big men are now out of the pain for Indonesia Warriors to get both Steve and Chris Charles. So Stephen Thomas missed both free throws <laughs> and he got the offensive rebound and now he will head back to the line. Let's see and that's a good situation for Indonesia Warriors. Stephen Thomas, one out of two as he redeemed himself from the Last two free throw he missed. Warriors do try to box out everybody from Bangkok City. Stephen Thomas beats the second one. And the Warriors <laughs> draw another foul of the box out. <laughs> so Stephen Thomas will head back to the free throw for the third time. Three times in a row, my goodness. And now Bangkok City can win the game. If Stephen Thomas knocks down two free throws. Oh no. Kevin Jonas Itaros with the rebound. And he is going to execute this. So apparently it's not a foul. Everybody steps to the line so the referee <laughs> asks 
for Stephen Thomas to retake the free throw. That's right. And Kevin uh -huh. Jonas Sitoros uh, were able to get the rebound. That's right. And, and he's now on the line for two points. Yep. Kevin Sitoros will head to the line. Just three seconds remaining on the fourth quarter. Kevin Sitoros knocks down the first one. He is only 50% free throw shooter, but we expect him to, to make this both. 25%. 25%, oh. One out of four. Kevin, no. Sitoros. So three points deficit for Bangkok City. And now, Bangkok City have to shoot three points. They have to take three Just points. Just three seconds. Here comes Canada. They have to break. Costa for three, for the win. Comes on short. Wow. What a great win. Have escaped win. this game with a win. Just three Can points. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? For the Warriors, as Stephen wow. Thomas wow. congratulates. They have, they have to live in hell for the last three minutes without <laughs> the two imports. And the local player can manage to hold the tough play, but by the high tech bangkok. What a nice, what, what a nice shooting by Kevin Jonas. Kevin Jonas. I have the record here from six games. <laughs> Kevin Jonas Itorus only shot one from only four. Only <laughs> That's twenty-five percent. But he comes in, knocks down this two. This one he throws, knocks down two. Two win the game. We will take a quick it, break. It takes a heart of steel, they say. <laughs> a heart of champion <laughs> by Kevin Jonas Itorus. We'll take a quick break. Stay tuned on Air Asia, Asian Basketball League 2014. We'll be right back. Thank you. game John Smith how confident were you coming into the game and how confident during the game when you're taking those all three uh, three-point shots hey man first of all I want to give credit to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ man it's been a long road for me man uh, fighting injuries but during the game uh, we started off in practice this week uh, playing hard and we were going to bring the intensity from practice into the game and uh, we did what we had to do and the Lord carried me through amen to that thank you John Smith coach uh, I almost don't have any questions because I don't know what to ask with this uh, exciting win for you. But in the fourth quarter, your two foreign players were out. What was the what was in your mind? What was the game plan? Uh, we tried to stop their bigs, but we cannot stop their bigs because they're too dominant in the paint. But Johns make a couple of threes that come that he's made us back into the game. He sure did. Last question. How satisfied were you with your local players in this game? I'm very satisfied because now they're improving so too much. Uh, just about two games in, good play in the home. They're improved, very, very improved. They should it. Thank you, Coach. Thank you, John. Back to you, Nelson. Thank you, Mr. Anotika Alu, for a nice interview. <laughs> what an amazing game, what I have to say. What right. an intense game <laughs> as the Warriors escape this one with a win, 73-70. And player to the game goes to John Smith Jr., mm -hmm. who comes back from injury, but puts in a nice performance today. 
Do you agree with John Smith Jr. as a selection? Of course, yeah, of course. Player? Actually, actually, uh, both uh, John Smith and Tremaine Johnson scored 14 points. Yep. But uh, he scored four very important three points. Three mm -hmm. tries are very important. Yep. Uh, and he also comes down, knocks the. That's free right. Throw. That's right. And the free throw. And if you look at the statistics, uh, they they really they really hit uh, high tech Bangkok in the three point sector. You know they made. 13, three points, while high tech only makes seven. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the reasons. And yeah. that's reflects in the defense, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, the fact that the last two minutes, maybe three minutes, they have two big men under the basket. But if we look at the uh, turnover, you know, you look after the, the Indonesia Warriors only made 13 turnovers, while the high tech Bangkok made 21 turnovers. So, so that cost them the, uh, this game. Don't forget also Mims O'Neal. That's right. Uh, un are unable to play for the mm -hmm. last few minutes of the game. And yeah, also yeah. Tremaine Johnson fouled mm -hmm. out. And the unsung hero, Kevin with Jonas Itoros. Kevin Jonas Itoros, which, <laughs> you know, his heart of steel yep. execute two very, very important free throws. Yep. That's a clutch. Yeah, I think that free throws sealed the game for the Warriors. Mm -hmm. And I have to say, so five more games for the Warriors in mm -hmm. September. And four more games in October. Mm -hmm. Three against Saskadrea, two against uh, Bangkok City again. So we are talking about and they will have another another uh, three wins mm -hmm. at least. And of course, yeah. Well, as you said earlier in the uh, in the uh, game, that uh, the fact that even if they win this game, mm -hmm. they still have you know a tough road to yep. to to you know to to they have to go through tough road playing against uh, tough teams. Yep. But then, if you look at again on the positive side, mm -hmm. even the toughest team they can beat now. So yes, they have the confidence to say that the they can beat there. the that number one thing. That's right. So this that's is how the you put it. Statistic of the game, mm -hmm. as you can see, Indonesia Warriors are shooting very well on the three points mm -hmm. with 41 percent from the three point line, and also the free throws. The free they throws. are doing better. That's right. 63 percent. And think they that's the off. one. And that's the one that. That's uh, the most important statistic. <laughs> <laughs> that's the most important. That's the one that with high tech Bangkok. If, even though they got out rebounded by um, eight quite, rebounds, quite, yeah, eight rebounds due but... to lack of the import players, <laughs> but they still managed to make Bangkok City to turn the ball over 21 That's times right. uh, compared to 13 turnovers. So, so I think the, the good stats for Indonesia Warriors was the turnovers and the free throw. Mm -hmm. And it's the free throw who sealed the game. Yep. And I think sometimes you need that mentality to take over in the clutch game That's to right. calmly sank down two free throws, even though you are playing at home That's right. where yeah. nobody bothers you. So Sometimes when you are playing at home, when you are doing that uh, execution in the free throw on the clutch time like this, it's even it's even tough, you know. Yep. It's even tough to bear the burden. So over the last six games, Warriors have won four, right? <laughs> this is a very nice performance, beating all the good teams, including the unbeatable, unbeatable Bangkok so, City. Oh, the good things they have been, they have uh, won against the unbeatable, uh -huh. used to be unbeatable, and they have beaten the team that beat this team the first time. Mm -hmm during the season, right? Yep, I think this is the win that they will all celebrate yeah. in, the, in the home court, right? This is the, the best win so far <laughs> for the Warriors as they can escape and they play a very nice defense to end the game. Thank you, Mr. Nahas, for your comment. Thanks, Lord. And also thank you for all of you who have tuned in to the Air Asia Asian Basketball League 2014. Don't forget to watch every game live on www.youtube.com slash ABL. I'm Nelson Gautama along with Renata Tawas, Mr. Anotika Alu working the sidelines, and all the remaining crews of ABL signing off from Bita Marena in Jakarta, Indonesia. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.